Today, AI-powered chatbots like ChatGPT or Google Gemini, which, which was just released, are not just a trend anymore. They have become game changers in a way. So how do you see this altering the way businesses communicate with their customers, whether for marketing or CRM purposes? So Imani, I think in a, there are two ways to look at it. It's mm -hmm. here, right? And it's here to stay. So businesses yep. need to adapt to it. And a lot of businesses um, have started adapting, but at the same time, there are a lot of businesses that haven't started adapting. And it's the same thing. Businesses... So it's not that, you know, AI is going to like take over our jobs completely or um, or businesses will be out of. Um, so the biggest challenge is how to adapt to AI to imbibe it into your own business, to make your life easier, to be on top of things and to get to do more. So something like chat GPT, we use in my agency and you okay. are as good as your prompt to chat GPT. Uh, will it replace copywriters to... You know, the bad copywriters or the not so great copywriters will be <laughs> eventually. They would have been even if there was no chat GPT. But copywriters yes. who know what they are doing, who know how to give the right prompts because you are as good as your prompt to chat GPT or any other AI platform for that matter, whether it's journey or what mid journey or whatever. So it depends on how quickly you can adapt and, mm -hmm. um, you know, and ingrain it into your business and make your life simpler. You I see. Think of it as, sorry, think of it as a calculator, right? Mm -hmm. Rather than doing mental maths all the time or just like, you know, not trying to do f uh, figures or it's like an Excel sheet. So there is a tool that is helping you speed up things and more efficiently. Okay, I understand. Do you think the job of a typical copywriter will be changed because of those uh, AI tools and uh, do they need to upskill to remain competitive in the in the current market? Yes, absolutely. Uh, and it's just not copywriters; it's designers, it's media buyers. Everyone in the industry needs mm -hmm. to upskill and um, think of how to use AI to uh, to be better at what they are already doing. So you know, for us, like AI can be used for research, and a copywriter can. Um, if you put in, like we use uh, AI, uh, we have copywriters as well as chat GPT that we like to use in the agency. But how we are using it is completely different. You cannot rely on chat GPT for all your you know, ad writing or sales page writing. You need that human touch. You need someone's personal experiences. And I think that is where um, AI can never take over humans because your personal experiences can never be matched by a machine. Uh, it's a machine learning by the end of the day. And copywriting is all about emotions. It's all about connecting with people. And yes. AI has, I think, a long way to go there. Maybe I'm wrong, but I personally think AI really has a long way to connect with humans, connect with human feelings and emotions. Absolutely, absolutely. Um what do you think about this new trend of conversational marketing? People are talking about it, basically leveraging chatbots, having them on on a website, and then having those chatbots, sorry, those chatbots generate leads automatically, or even provide CRM solutions uh, or answer questions uh, and customers' concern on the spot straight away. Do you think this is this is a sector that is gaining popularity and that's going to be? increasingly important in the years going forward? Yes. And it's like, you know, your human customer service person has been replaced by a bot or by automation. And and it's great because <clears throat> I might not be there at 2 a.m. to answer a client's query or a customer's, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I have a bad throat, or a customer's query. Uh, but if my bot has been trained properly, they can, you know, answer it at 2 a.m. for someone. And and I can be in any part of the world answering it, you know, or getting an answer too. So in terms of efficiency, yes, like a lot of banks have started using, um, you know, chatbots and they have trained their bots to answer queries to, for them. And it is more efficient, convenient for everyone around. Um, you know, it's like, if you see, it's a progression, right? If you see early, yes. we had call centers where it would be there for 12 hours. Then they started giving you 24 hours. And you could actually chat with a human, you know, um, 
on the phone, maybe you have a you your credit card is stolen. You just needed someone to uh, chat there and then, and you would just do it. Similarly, it's the next progression is the app where, oh, sorry, the um, customer service on chatbots answer mm-hmm. your queries and you're not bound by time. It's efficient for the company. It's efficient for you as a customer. So they are here to stay and companies that adapt will see a greater success in the long run.